Well, as the saying goes, the show must go on, and it did for the Miss USA pageant this Sunday. Despite controversy surrounding its owner, Donald Trump, and his comments on Mexicans that moved to America. Another pageant was held that same night, Miss Philippines USA, where I served as co-host. Kai Braden takes us backstage. Hey Tony, I'm in Los Angeles where the ladies here at Miss Philippines USA are weighing in on that much bigger pageant, Miss USA, and all that drama surrounding Donald Trump. Um, if you were involved in a pageant like that, would you pull out or would you still compete? Um, I think it really depends on what situation you're in. I think the right thing to do was is to step down and let the issue resolve itself until and then join the pageant again. All right, enough with the tough questions. Let's get to the beauty, grace, and elegance at this pageant. How excited are you to co-host with Cher Calvin? I love it. I mean, Cher, this is our fourth year again doing it together, and she's a pro, you know? She's been with KTLA for years. She's an Emmy award-winning journalist, and uh, it's cool to you know be on a stage with her. I'm, I, I'm honored to be with her. I think that um, what was really nice about this year is that we got to interview the girls one-on-one -on, -one on uh, Friday, like as a preliminary interview, and you really got to see their personalities in a different setting because right now they're going to be on stage. It's going to be a whole nother ball game. Have you ever traveled to the central coast of California? Have you ever been to Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo? And um, if so, what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, one of my favorite places over there is actually Solvang. I love going there. I love going to the little bed and breakfasts. And it's a really cute town to visit when you have time. We had so much fun here at the pageant. And Tony, I think the ladies will have to pay you all a visit on the Central Coast. In Los Angeles, I'm Kai Braden, KCOY 12 Central Coast News.